So let's convert our AT100 Pro so it kicks in at one watt to tune and also tunes without the need for pushing this button. You're going to need a Picket 3, so get these on Amazon, they're about £20 uh, to do a bit of programming, but we're going to show you how to do that and how to connect this to your um, ATU100. Okay, to, so to connect your ATU40, you're going to need to unplug the wires from the OLED screen, which is here. One, two, three, four wires. And then to connect to the picket device, which we have here, first put the connector on the picket in, in, with the black level with the white arrow that you can see. Then on the ATU40, what used to happen is you could connect it. Now it's quite hard to see. We'll move things out of the way. You could connect onto these pins here, but they've got wires soldered on. So what we've done, we're using the connector to the OLED screen as a way of connecting to the picket connector here. So with the picket connector in this position, so the black wire at the top, all you've got to do now is you add one pin here, so we've just used a GPIO pin here, female to female. Now the top one is known as the MCLR, which is the white arrow. So once you've got it this way around, then you just follow the order. So the first one goes to the MCLR, and then just follow the next four. So white goes to the next pin. Well, don't forget the colours, just go by the numbers. So the, pit, the first pin MCLR goes to the first pin here, level with the black. Then the, the next wire, then the next wire, and keep them in order. So there's, f basically in the end, there's five wires going to five wires, and you end up with one pin spare, okay? And now, to get the software you need, thank IK3SSG for his video and his link here, where we click this and we get the firmware zip and all the programming that we need. We just click that and go into the picket file here. Now save this to somewhere on your on your desktop in a file. And the ones we need, everything we need is here. So we've got the picket XE for the software, which you'll see it open up now. Just give it one sec. There you are. This is the software you're gonna need. And then when you do the communication, once it's connected, and it's here it says check communication underneath that download picket operating system when you click that section it's just a little file that you put in i think it's that one there the one that's called hex so when you click it you select that so put it in a file where you know you're going to find it okay so we've got the picket tuner connected and what we want to do now is make sure we're seeing up here device now what we can do as well we can go tools Check communication, you'll hear the tuner click and the picket flash away. And if you've done it right, you'll see this. And then what we want to do is run the software. So go download picket operating software. And the, this file here is in the software, in the video that I've linked in and shown by um, EI3 YouTube channel. So double click it and it, it basically loads up the uh, the bootloader which is great it's almost like a blank uh, I don't know hex file then read your radio like so and you'll get these now there will be a slight difference on your one because on my one um, I've already changed this figure here to so see oh one here that turns on the automatic tuner where you don't need to push the button so yours will say zero zero now if you want the automatic button change it to zero one which is great um and we don't want zero two so ignore the amazon thing that just happens to be on my computer so yeah as you can see it says zero one go along to the zero five and change that to zero one and that's going to make it um start tuning at one watt so we've done that We've got no intention of changing anything else. It's still a, a 100 watt tuner with 10 windings. The windings section is shown here. So now you want to click right to tune. Now remember, before you do that, I'll just say, it's just writing now. 
successful that's great before you do that though I will say I should have said it at first go file and when you've read when you've read your device export it so I'm just going to read it again to check that the changes have taken so we'll click read and as you do this the device is clicking Uh, you can hear it in the background. So now we've got the one here for uh, auto button not required or auto tune, let's say. And the one here for one watt for uh, minimum power to start the tuning process. So now what you want to do, we've read it. I want to go file, export, and just save it somewhere. Give it a name that you're going to remember. So I'm going to give this one uh, uh, um, auto tune, tune, one what and I'm gonna put ATU 100 because I have got both here I've got the 40 as well and just save so if we have problems we can always change it back we've written that to the tuner so now the next part of this video will just be testing to make sure that it auto tunes and kits it kicks in at one watt we need to get our pins back onto the OLED screen so just pull the extra one off that you added that is here see that extra one you just pull that off and now that we're going to need to curl these back round and put them back onto these four pins here. And I'll show you where, in which order they go. Slide them back on. You've got blue, green, white and red. And then you'll be able to turn it on like so. And you'll get that up here. And then you're ready to test it on the radio. Put the lid back on. It's literally just two screws at the front. Just the top ones and back. The actual 705 now, so <clears throat> let's get the power. I mean, it's only going to do five watts up here, so we're on five watts, 80 meters. Sorry about the LED lights that you can see being picked up there. Let's give it a go. There you are, and it's tuning um, at and it's showing power five watts, SWR still high. But that worked, no button, and it's tuning on a QRP radio. Let's just go 7 megs there. Sorry about my unsteady hand. Oh, the SWR is good. So unfortunately, because if we go to 20, the SWR is so high. Oh, it's trying to tune. Oh, well, that's good. Because before it wasn't so power... 4.7 and it's actually tuned on 20 meters so that I think is an absolute result so it means just a couple of changes on your uh, ATU 40 um, without any without I haven't changed the winding so these are just software or EEPROM changes with the picket thing which cost me 16 pound you can use your ATU 100 on your um, QR on your QRP radio. Let me know if um, if the, if this affects the readings. But as far as I can see, when I key it says 4.8 watts. It's five watt radio, and the SWR is good. So to me, that's a result. Seven three. We're at the uh, Icom seven three hundred here. It's not the brightest picture, but anyway, the first thing we're going to do is let's see if it tunes without the button. So we're going to hit this. Now oh, the SWR is low, so we'll try a different band. You can hear it's tuning straight away, which is great, without using the button. And then we'll get it down to a lower power. So we're down, we want it below 1 watt, it's a 100 watt radio, so what should we do? Well, it was 5 watts before, let's try 2 watts. And I wish it was a bit clearer, but let's try it anyway seven and then we'll see we need to get it above one watt here now it's, there you are 1.7 and it's tuned let's try and go a bit lower at one percent which is one watt and let's see what it says it is showing one watt so let's go to 80 uh sorry 3.5 and we'll just try again uh, it's not quite, see it's 0 0.9 watt, you're just on 1 watt now. Um, so, it's definitely worked in the way of it's going to be better than waiting for 5 watts. So, we're going to test it next on our QRP radio. So, 
let's just there you go 1.4 watts so that's definitely proof that the auto tune button is not needed and it's kicking in way below 5 watts